You find a cicada. I think he did. Yeah, he looks a little passed away. All right, could be sleeping. Try giving it mouth to mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's much hope for that one. No. What do you think, Brandon? Here's Brandon today. He's going to be our guide. Of course, that's every day. I'm sorry for the road noise. And on top of that, we got cicada noise. But you know what? It's a nice Saturday after a dismal, rainy Friday. And there's nobody on this particular trail right now. Yep, Mama and I are out today. We got Brandon yeah, leading the way. Yeah, yeah. Mama's recuperating from being sick. And we also have Brandon and Frosty. We're missing Red. And she'll be here tomorrow. My daughter, my daughter. And Eric the blood letter. I miss my daughter. <laughs> I just saw my daughter this week. I was lucky. Anyway, let me turn you around here so you can see where we're going. Very nice sandy trail for right after it rains. So there isn't a whole lot of mud to deal with. Which is good because puppy dogs drag mud everywhere on their little paws. Whoop, whoop. As we were driving into the trailhead here today, Mama had the window down. You could hear these these cicadas. I would say a half mile out. What do you see, Lassie? What do you see? Is there something there? It's just been kind of a blah week. I don't know what, not much happened. Mama was, like we said, recuperating. So she spent many days sleeping. Good thing, too, because I had to clean the whole house before we have company tomorrow. I am so tired. I got dishpan hands. My daughter sealed the roof on the house, didn't seem to leak. I think we got that taken care of. This dog Brandon here, he will literally stare you down from about noon it starts until we go for a walk. And you know, we go between noon and three o'clock. And he will just sit there and stare at you. You give him a treat, as soon as the treat's done, he's right back to staring at you. After this walk here, which is usually about a mile, I'm telling about Brando there. How he settles down after we get about a mile walk in here. Let's see if uh, the old man will cross the log. 
Come on, Frosty. Uh -huh. Frosty. Come, baby. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Every day that's a milestone for us. You gotta remember he's he's fifteen years old. What's that? Traveling at our place we there yeah, yeah blah, 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 blah. traveling at our pace. We should be able to do it in like four days. That's comfortable driving. You know, unless you guys want to sleep, I can drive twenty four hours. Yeah, we're really, 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 really thinking of going to Arizona for the winter. I was just explaining to our... About a two-week vacation. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Leave on a Wednesday after you see your sister. And I just won't get good for that week and next week. And then the following week you would. Yeah, well, I, I want to go to my doctor and make sure I have all my pills. Yeah, you better get all your vaccinations. You know, the dogs have all their shots. And... Yeah, we got to get you some heartworm and uh, some plant tick <laughs> meds. <laughs> so that's the idea we're mulling around somewhere around Christmas time to be down there. That's on my bucket list. I got a long list on my bucket list. And it's just stupid stuff to see and just to see. Just I could say I've been there. You know, hell, I drove past there for years as a truck driver. And I'd like to stop and taste the coffee, smell the flowers. And I forget the name of the town, but there's donkeys that, that roam the town. It started with uh, a couple of donkeys that miners left there. I think that's in Arizona, too. I don't know. I'll let the wind blow me. <laughs> Must be a cloud passing overhead. There we go. Four-wheel drive. Come on, Frosty. Done. I'm just saying, come on, Frosty. Now the old Billy Goat's up that side. Billy Goat. Billy Goat Brandon. I feel like I'm trying to shoot video of the monkeys. What are you doing there, huh? Good boy. He is a beautiful puppy. Of course, all puppies are beautiful. I'm not wild about pugs. But they're adorable to play with. I'm more of a Labrador Retriever guy. I love yellow labs. They, they seem to have the best nature. Black labs, I love them to death. But boy, are they usually high energy. There's some little gnats out today, but I haven't really seen any skeeters yet. And if you're looking for a little motivation on exercise, uh, 
a friend of mine, M.B. Parks. Hello, Mary Beth. Uh, she has an exercise and wellness channel here on her page, I should say, on Facebook. Uh, I think it's called Mary the M.B. M M.B. Parks Fitness and Wellness or something like that. I guess I should have had some notes ready if I was going to talk today about stuff. My life has come to a crossroads. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? I've been that way. That, that turns into a, what I would call medium difficulty hike. Goes all the way up the mountain there. Hey come on guys, down this way. Brandale, come on. Come on Frost. Come on. Come on. He usually likes this trail. Yeah, yeah, he does. We were just standing there too long. This is, uh, this is a trail where I fell one day. Recently. This little trail, you can see it, it's accessible to anyone. And I do from time to time see people down here, but not much. So we come down here after rain because it's not muddy. And if you want to know where we're at, you can always send me a message, private message. I'll give it to anybody that asks. I don't know if I'm just going to blurt it out on Facebook or YouTube or Insta. But I clearly share the information on where this is. It is in the Ephrata. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I didn't want to say that. It's just west of Brickerville. I don't know. He likes it down just for reference, Brandon here has never actually swam. He was a puppy. He, he was definitely afraid of water. He saw water. He was going the other way if it wasn't in his water dish. Maybe it will if it was hotter. Or, or if we crossed over, he might follow. He loves the shower. Yeah, and, and the big black one, he doesn't like the shower. He's in the water here. Yeah. So there you go. Two different personalities. Hey, John Brandon. This is going to be a nice spot this summer when it's in the 90s again. Come up here and picnic. There you go. He crossed into Mexico. <laughs> He's looking back. You want, babe. <laughs> Bring some drugs back, man. Oh, sorry. I was just kidding. Just kidding. He's a coyote. He leads everybody else here. I'm kidding, man. I don't do that. Good boy, Brandon. Good boy. Oh, my. All right. I think I'll pause this video here. We'll start it up when we start our way back again. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Troy and Teresa, geriatric tripping. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.